Okay, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. So it's May and it's raining 40s at night, very unusual. So what do we do? We plant perennial shrubs. Great time. So we have the black elderberry. They're actually flowered and they're gonna set fruit. We have the junipers, which I have not made gin from. <laughs> But today is a really cool one. We want a long hedge to make the herb garden like a secret garden. So I'm kind of blocking this in. So I'm using the Lemon Thread False Cypress from Lowe's. It's a great hedge. I love the lime green. And this is the shrub that grows really slow. It should grow five by five in 20 years. But I don't care about that because I want that cute lime green. I'm gonna use some red flowers around it. It's perfect, and if it grows, the better. It's also very easy on whatever soil, sandy, clay, dry, wet, I, wet, yeah, I could go. But this came out of Japan, basically. So let me show you how to plant it. So what I want to do is I want to make this one parallel to the side of the well house. So I'm running a string so it's straight. Remember, once you put a hedge in, it's in. So I'm spacing these three foot apart. That way, since it's a slow growing hedge, it'll go toward each other. I don't want people walking through this. You know, in 20 years, if they're four foot apart, that's great. So let's start digging. We're on the last hole, and um, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to add the fertilizer a few inches down, so we want the roots to stretch. But with the moon shadow, I just lost two because a mole hole has gone through going toward my stones. I don't know what they're going to find there. And um, the problem with it is they don't eat the roots. People think they eat the roots. They don't eat roots. They only eat bugs. They don't eat tulip bulbs, anything. But they leave these holes of air and it dries the roots. So without killing them, because we're against that, we add stuff that they hate. They hate the smell. So, this Creole seasoning is great if you want to go on a patio where there's no plants, no grass. They hate the smell. It's great on your food. I love this stuff. But it has salt, so you can't put it in your hole with that. But if you take crushed red pepper and put it with your fertilizer, it hates the smell of this. And I'll just keep sprinkling it. And there's other stuff, I'll put mold traps. So with the fertilizer, I'll drop it in. Always make it the root ball level with the ground. You don't want to bury it. Then I backfill it with the combo of soil and compost. So this is how we plant the cypress. Um, this is a great hedge. It can handle the clay. It can handle any soil, which is perfect. And even though it's really slow growing, it has such interest in the color and the shape. So if you need a plant like that, the lemon thread false cypress, what are you doing, Huggy? <laughs> is perfect for your garden. And please, subscribe it's really important to us and hit the thumbs up and hit the bell for future notifications just hit the bell and hit all have a great day this is sabrina